And for only the second time since his murder conviction in July of 2014, Chad DeSoto addressed the court to plead for leniency in his sentence. But as PNC's Donna De Jesus reports, this time DeSoto's message was different. Here's more. Yes. Okay, Mr. DeSoto, you may address the court. It has been over three years since the night Chad DeSoto went on a rampage in Tumon's Pleasure Island, killing three people and injuring 11 others. DeSoto was sentenced to life without parole plus 35 years to be served concurrently. But after spending a little over three years in prison for the horrific crime, DeSoto, through his counsel Jocelyn Rodin, requested for a sentence reduction of life with the possibility of parole. While DeSoto did not take the stand, he requested to make a statement to the court during a hearing today to express his remorse and to support his plea for leniency. The first time he spoke was during his sentencing hearing in September 2014, in which he did not express remorse, but rather appeared to criticize residents for failing to understand his mental illness. Today, at the mercy of the court, the tone of DeSoto's statement was different. I'm heartbroken, Your Honor over the immense pain and tragedy that my hands have directly caused to over a dozen human beings. From the bottommost depths of my heart, I apologize to you. I am sorry. I am immensely sorry for the utterly terrible actions that my hands have committed against you. I understand that apologizing to you all won't reverse time and stop the incident in February from happening, but it's a good place to start but that it's not the only day that I have lived. There are many thousands of other days where I was a good person, but there are 21 years in my life before February 13, 2013, and three and a half years since where I have practiced the walk of a loving, peaceful, and caring life. DeSoto then spoke about his clean record prior to his killing spree and his good behavior in prison. And I humbly ask that you also take into consideration my non-existent arrest record those 21 years before and three and a half years since February 13, 2013, I deeply beg that you allow me the opportunity in the future to prove that I could be worthy of another chance at life in the community because of how I was able to prove through word and action my potential and that there is good and remorse of offense in my heart. Chief Prosecutor Phil Tidingo responded to DeSoto's plea for understanding and mercy, asking if he felt mercy when he murdered and attempted to murder all those victims on that fateful night. Tidinko went on to say that DeSoto's sentence of life imprisonment without the possibility of parole was a just one. He comes to ask for leniency. The leniency he should be also asking for is forgiveness, which he has not. He's just apologized. Well, there are three people who are not alive because of that one day. There are 11 others whose life and trauma is never the same because of that one day. And does that one day define you in terms of the criminal law? It does. And it's not the Attorney General who put that on you. It was you who got in the car, who loaded it with knives, who ran over those people, who jumped out and tried to stab them, and did stab some of them. And it wasn't the Attorney General's office that convicted you. It was your peers, the people of Guam, the jury. You had a fair trial. Taidingo urged the court to deny DeSoto's motion to reduce his sentence and that he should be held accountable for that one day that shattered so many lives. Reporting for PNC, I'm Donna De Jesus.